Now that you know how to type in data, the next thing is to learn how to move data around. Now we already started by learning how to click and drag on the board of a cell. We also want to do a cutting, copying, pasting. To get started, I'm going to close out of this workbook here, and I can click on that inner X here. And then I'm clicking on the open folder button to search my computer, and then find book cells. Now if you're really good at double clicking, you can double click right on the text here, but if you're not fast enough, in double clicking it thinks that you're trying to change the title here of the workbook so I usually advise everybody to double click really fast on the icon instead or highlight it and click open and we have sales in the US and also in the United Kingdom and what I want to do is by looking at the spreadsheet it looks a little bit mixed up in other words we've got dates up here a total over here we don't have a total down here so let's get started and move some of these around first thing I want to do is I want to move let's say totals from when I click on it I4 and you can see it up in the name box I4 and I want to move it over to H4 so the first thing I want to do is hover over the border so I get my four-way arrow left click hold down your mouse and it changes from a four-way but trust it and then drag it to the left and let go and it pulls it over for this example you can see I've got my date here for sales I also have the date up here, it doesn't look organized, so I want to move it from this cell, B2, over to A2. So I'm going to click in this cell, or at least have it highlighted so it's outlined in the black here, and then I want to cut and paste it, and there's a couple ways you can do it, about three ways. You can click on the pair of scissors here, you can right click, if you're good at right clicking, uh, left click on the pair of scissors here, and then I'll left click back on the cell here or you can hold down the control key on the keyboard and hit the letter X for simplicity I'll click on the scissors and then you get what I call marching ants in other words they want to take this piece of data here and move it to wherever the place I click in and then click on the paste button here you also have the paste drop down arrow so you can do various paste if they're available but by default when I click the paste it actually puts it over there now I'm going to undo that real quick and put it back and you can see the marching ants are back to where they were. Now if you make a mistake and you don't want to cut this, is you can always hit, like I said, escape. When you hit escape it stops all the transactions going on, in this case the marching ants or when we're doing formulas later. But again I want to move it so I can right click, left click on cut, and then right click. I didn't even left click in the cell, I just right click right in the cell and then left click on paste. Now for the copy feature you see right here we have April we're missing April down here to show you copy I'm gonna select it and it's the same thing you got three ways you can click on the copy button up here and it gives us the marching ants you can right click and select left click on copy or you can hold down the control key and hit the letter C on the keyboard to copy and as long as the marching ants are there you know you can click in any cell they'll still be there which annoys some people especially if they didn't mean to copy again hit the escape key on the keyboard so control C click down here where we want it and then control V as in Victor will actually paste it and it still has the marching ants because we can click in other cells and paste until the cows come home you also have your smart tag here you can left click and see the type of options you get for example when I paste if this text was in bold I can say look when I paste it in this destination I don't want it to be like its originator bold Instead, I will say match the destination formatting. And if the destination here was plain text, not bolded, and I select that, then it will be unbolded. I'll hit the escape key to get rid of those marching ants. I'll click and drag, making sure that while I'm dragging, I'm using the white cross, and then delete it. Now finally, we've learned how to click and drag cells around. But did you know that if you held down the control key while you're clicking and dragging the border will create a copy? For example, I have totals here on H4, but I also want to go down to H14 and have totals there as well. I could type it in, but for the example, I'll hold down the control key, the mouse is over the border. When I click on the control, it changes to like a little plus sign. I don't know if you can see that, but I have to get right over that border. Now, when it comes to Excel, um, in some places, just like now, you'll have to squint, and you're going to have to be really finite with that mouse to get it over that border. But I'm going to left-click with the Control key held down at the same time and drag. And you can see that little plus sign. And when I get to the cell that I like, I'm going to first let go of the left mouse button. And voila, 
it puts it right there and then I can let go of the control key 